A 45-year-old female patient complains of frequent tiredness and fatigue. She had difficulty in swallowing. Oral examination shows chelosis, coelonychia, and identify the syndrome. The options are Eagle syndrome, Plummer-Vinson syndrome, Fanconi syndrome, and Sturge-Weber syndrome. Going through each of these syndromes one by one, Eagle syndrome, also known as stylohyoid syndrome or carotid artery syndrome or stylalgia. These are the few names. Stylohyoid is important. So here, the stylohyoid process is elongated. Okay, the elongation and mineralization of the stylohyoid ligament causes this kind of an appearance leading to difficulty in eating. This is usually seen after tonsillectomy. So the only uh, feature that matches with the question over here is difficulty in swallowing. Then next is plummer vinson syndrome, which is a manifestation of iron deficiency anemia. It is characterized by esophageal webs, atrophic glossitis, that is of the tongue, a coelonychia or spoon-shaped nails and an increase in the risk of oral and esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. Now, because this is anemia, there is tiredness and fatigue. It is seen in female patients of uh, the age group 30 to 50 years, that is middle age. There is difficulty in swallowing, of course, and coelonychia and chelosis are also present. So, this could be a possible answer. Fanconi syndrome consists of congenital and Sometimes uh, familial aplastic anemia associated with some congenital defects of the bone. There is small head that is microcephaly, hypogenitalism, smaller size of the genitals and generalized olive brown pigmentation of skin. Fanconi syndrome is also associated with anemia but that is of the aplastic variety. So you will see tiredness and fatigue but coelonychia is specific to iron deficiency anemia. Lastly, you have Sturge-Weber syndrome, which is uh, associated with vascular malformations and port wine stain. And it is uh, a disorder of the underlying meninges and the cerebral cortex, which occurs unilaterally. So it has no similar features to what is given in the question. So the correct answer should be option 2, Plummer-Vinson syndrome.